And so you described this show as a preparation. What, what do you mean by that? It's a preparation of a painting. The painting is, it's an um, art in progress in a way. So you see a lot of photographs and um, you know a photograph is not a painting. Um, a photograph takes only the moment where you sh shoot it. And then the film is transported automatically or you have to do it. But then you miss all the other 1,000 seconds, you know. It's always an illusion. You never get it. So, um, but, but doing so much photographs, day long, days long, it's, it's inspired by this idea to make something similar to the sea. Sim similar to the music of the sea or to the, to the infinite different waves of the sea of the infinity, yes. Having been somewhere, you're both detached from it, but also you empathize, or at least you empathize through the memory of being there. Now, one of the experiences that many people have of your work, large scale, is a kind of overwhelming sense of being immersed in the work. Yeah, absolutely. Does that apply, though, to the smaller works? I mean, literally, you are immersed in this work, but do, do, is, is, does scale fundamentally alter that sense of immersion, do you think? Yes, I like people attract like honey, you know, like with honey, you know, to, to, to come in. And then uh, first it's emotion, I hope. I, I, I give the people an emotion to come. And, and then, then the intellect and then the, the thinking starts, I hope so. This is about, about immersion, really, uh, but on scale, in scale, when work is small scale, do you see it operating in a fundamentally different way to large scale? Or is yeah, it it's absolutely different because here you are not put in. This is uh, a proof or example that I was <laughs> immersed, you know, so it's just, it's just uh, information. It's an information, it's not, it's not something that draws you in, yeah. So what is it, the paradox of the two entities that attract you? It's not r rationally worked out that one means something, one means another, it's, it's the paradox and, and it's that dis disjoint, that disjointing idea, yeah, that it's disruptive idea. It's a paradox of my life, of my work, the paradox. I, sometimes I want to fix something, you want always to fix something, you know, because you don't want leave the earth and nothing, nothing is fixed, you know, and, and, and you, are, you are still in the, in the fluidity or you didn't concretize something. But on the other side, it's against life, it's against art to fix things. Art, it's always going on, it's always a process. And this, this is a paradox um, you suffer from and it is also beautiful.